to Learning is Fun, the classroom. I am so happy that you're here today. Before we can get to our extra special topic of the day, we need to do circle time. The first thing that we do every time for circle time is our weather chart. Let's head over. In order to figure out what the weather is today, we need to look out our what? What do we look out of to see what the weather is? That's right, our window. So I'm gonna look out my window right over here. Will you help me? Thanks. Hmm, hmm, do you see what I see? It's so loud. Hmm, let's see on our weather chart what it is. Is it snowing? No, that's not snow. <gasps> is it raining? That's right, it's raining. I think that rain is such cozy weather. What do you think? Yes, it's so cool. It waters all of our plants for us. Now that we know that it's raining, we need to figure out if it is sunrise, midday, or sunset. And in order to do that, we need to know what time it is. So let's head over to our clock. Right now, it is three o'clock. So our little hand has to go on the three. Let's move it to the three. Perfect. Now our long hand has to go on the 12 because in time, 12 is two zeros on a clock. That's so strange, isn't it? Let's move our big hand to the 12. Perfect. Now let's head back over to our weather chart. Wow, now that we know that it's three o'clock, we can use our red arrow for our chart. We're gonna put our red arrow right here between midday and sunset because it is three o'clock. Now we get to use our special sunshine arrow to figure out what the temperature is. Where I'm from, we use something called Fahrenheit. So we're gonna move our pretty arrow all the way up to 70 degrees. 70 degrees. It may be raining, but it's still pretty mild out. The weather is mild because it's not super cold and it's not super hot. So we say mild. And the season that we're in is season fall. Fall. Now that we know our weather and the time of day, guess what we get to do? It's time for our letter of the day. And I have a really special friend that wants to tell us what our letter is today. Lydia, can you help me? So what is the letter of the day? A. A. And a, 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 apple. That is correct. Good job. A, 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 apple. apple. Like Lydia said, our letter of the day is A. And A says a, 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 apple. A is for apple. Do you like to eat apples? Me too. There are so many cool things that we get to learn about apples. Now that you know the topic of the day is apples, let's learn all about apples. The first thing is there are so many different types of apples. Did you know that? They all have lots of different names. So, since they all have different kinds of names, a lot of people have different favorite apples. So the next time you see a grown-up, you should say, hey, I was wondering, do you have a favorite kind of apple? My husband Joseph has a favorite apple and his favorite is a gala apple. That's pretty awesome. There are also so many different colors of apples. Behind me you can see red and green, sometimes yellow apples. 
The most common apples though are red, green, and yellow. But do you want to know one of the rarest apple colors? Rarest means there's not a lot. There is a super, super special apple called a black diamond apple. No, it's not black, but guess what color it is? It's a dark purple apple. I've never seen one of those apples in real life, have you? I bet they're super delicious to eat too. I'm gonna have my friend Lydia come show us another really special thing about apples. Are you gonna help me today? Yeah. So the first thing we get to do is we're gonna dump some water in this. Would you like to help me dump it? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> okay, we're gonna see if apples float. Do you know what float means? Yeah, it floats in the water. Yes. So, would you like to put the apple in the water uh -huh. and see if it floats? Yeah. Oh, there's not enough water. It yeah. touches the bottom. Do you think we need more water? Yeah. Okay, let me go get some more water. Ready? Yeah. Let's see. cool but you also saw that if there was just a little bit of water the apples didn't float but when we added more water the apples ended up floating the next time you have an apple you should ask a grown-up at your house if you can see if it floats in water one more special thing about apples is that they grow on trees apples grow on trees did you know that a lot of people like to go picking apples. They walk by apple trees and take an apple. I think that's pretty cool that they grow on trees. Some people even have apple trees at their house. Not everybody goes and picks their own apples. Sometimes they just go buy them at the store. And if they do that, they might come in a bag like this or they might come in a big bag like this. Now that we've learned so many cool facts about apples, I think it's time to do a craft. My friend Lydia is going to tell you what we need. We need a cardboard, we need plates, we need some plates, and we need an apple. Now that we have everything we need, we are going to cut our apple right in half. I'll make sure that I was a grown up to, to cut the knife because you don't want to get hurt. Yes, that is right. Thank you. Let's go see how Lydia does this craft. We need to take our paint. Yep. And we're going to put a little green paint on this one right here. So we need red. Red paint on our other paper. So what you get to do is take your apple and on this side, you get to put it down like this. Then, you get to pick up the apple and it's like a stamp. So you pick up the apple and put it right on this paper and you stamp it down. <laughs> then pick it up. <gasps> put it back in there and do this one. Okay, can we move on to the next one? We sure can. Wasn't that an awesome craft? Like Lydia said, it's time to move to the next thing. Now that we've done our awesome craft, I think it's time for a song. Are you ready? Let's go! How many apples on the tree? How many apples will we see? Green apples, red or yellow too. What colors will show to you? How many apples Let's count the apples so we can see One apple, two, three, and four How many more? Five apples, six, seven, and eight There are eight apples and it's great What are colors? Let's look and see our 
awesome song. I am super hungry. Are you? I think we should make an extra delicious apple snack. Lydia is gonna help us by telling us what we need. So we need a plate, we need an apple, and we need another plate, and we need pizza butter. Or any kind of nut butter, right? Yeah. Chocolate chips. The first thing I'm gonna do is I need to cut our apple. Like Lydia said, we need all of that stuff and then you need to ask a grown-up to cut your apple for you. Let me show you what your apple is gonna look like when it's all cut. The next thing that we need is an apple Ooh. with the middle cut out. We're gonna smear our peanut butter. Do you think we need a little more? Um, no, that sounds good. Does that look good? Uh-huh. Now we get to take our chocolate chips and put them right on to make an apple donut. What do you think? That looks yummy, donut. You can use lots of different things on apple donuts. Mmm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Yum. Mm -hmm. Yum! Lydia loves that super awesome apple donut snack. Have you ever had an apple donut? Instead of using peanut butter, you could use any nut butter or you could even put some yogurt on it. You could crush up some cereal. You can make it however you want. That's the beauty of apple donuts. Just figure out what you like and put it right on your apple. I think now that we've had a snack, we should do one more thing. Let's work on patterns. I'm going to put up a few different colors of apples and we are gonna have to figure out what the next one is. Let's put up our green apple, red apple, green apple, red apple, green apple. What comes after green apple? That's right, a red apple. Let's do another one. Yellow apple, green apple, yellow apple, green apple. What comes after our green apple? That's right, a yellow apple. You are so good at this. Last one, red apple, red apple, green apple. Red apple, red apple. What comes after our red apple? That's right, a green apple. Wow, you guys are so great at patterns, I am so so proud of you. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today in our classroom. I hope that you'll come back next time and I hope that you learned so many amazing things about apples. Until next time, don't forget, learning is fun. I'll see you next time. Bye friends!